Hey guys, what's up? Caleb Downing here with SDI, and today we're going to talk about pistol suppressors and sometimes show how they don't have to have a booster. Very interesting, I think, so let's get into it. All right, so sorry about the rain, sorry about the noise. We're dealing with weather like we have to. So anyway, let's just move on. The booster on a pistol suppressor is a very important thing. It's called different things, Nielsen device, but just called different things. Basically, this is a booster housing and on the inside of here is a piston, okay? What this does is screws into the back of the suppressor and then when the gun fires, the booster allows the suppressor to, for a, for a very short moment of time, basically disconnect from the barrel and kind of free float and let the barrel move backwards and upwards because pistol barrels on semi-automatic pistols, they move when the gun fires, right? There's a couple barrels out there, a couple pistols that have a fixed barrel and they don't move at all. And in that case, you wouldn't need a, you wouldn't need any kind of booster at all. But for a pistol that has a moving tilting barrel, it's made and engineered to operate with the weight of the barrel and not much else. So even if you run a comp, sometimes you're gonna have to adjust the spring. If you run a suppressor, you're gonna have to not just adjust a spring, you're gonna have to put a Nielsen device, a booster on that suppressor. So what are we even talking about? We're talking about this little guy right here. This is the Spectre 9. This is a very, very lightweight can. It's made out of titanium. It is extremely lightweight and we have a direct thread on the back. And I just wanna show you something. Sometimes, if you have a light enough suppressor, sometimes, if you have a light enough suppressor, you can actually get these things to cycle and function without a booster. And that's only because the suppressor is so lightweight and not messing with the operating cycle of the firearm that you actually are able to do this. Now, is this recommended? Not necessarily. Is this going to work for every gun out there? No, not necessarily. This happens to work relatively well for this guy right here. So again, no booster, here we go. Just like that, I love shooting suppress, it's super fun. But just like that, you can tell, it operated, it cycled, it did what it needed to do. This time it worked through all five rounds. I shot a magazine earlier and it had two or three malfunctions in it, so it's not 100% gonna work all the time, but it can get you by in a pinch and it can just go to show you that sometimes a super, super, super lightweight can doesn't always need a booster. Anyway, guys, I hope you found that interesting. I hope you found it helpful. Caleb down to SDI. Go check it out. Check us out at SDI.edu if you want to check out some of our classes and learn some more about some science stuff around how firearms work and just dig in a little bit more and expand your knowledge on firearms. All right, y'all take care. Catch you in the next video. See you.